what we're going to do is generate a standard error. As you can see here, I have five data points from your lab. You will also have five data points for three different measuring equipments. So you're going to need to repeat this process for all three of the pieces of measuring equipment that you're going to use. So here are my five data points. In order to get a standard error, we're going to use this equation. Now uh, we'll talk about what this equation means later, but we just need to fill in the different parts. X sub i are going to be all of your data points. X with the bar over it is your mean. In order to calculate the mean, we take the sum of our samples and divide by n. n is the number of samples we have. So first thing we need to do is get the sum. So if we add up all of our five data points, it gives us 125.28. We then need to take the sum and divide by n. Since I have five data points, n equals five, so my mean value is 25.056, which is simply 125.28 divided by five. Now, we're going to do the first part up here of this operation. The sum means we need to repeat this operation here for all five of our data points. So what that means is that I'm going to take data point one minus my, my mean and square it and do that for all of my data points. So here you can see I've got my first data point, 25.26, minus my mean squared plus my second data point, 24.91, minus my mean squared, plus my third data point, my fourth data point, and my fifth data point. So in each case, I subtract off the mean and square the result. If I go through and do all of the subtractions, I get these values. So 25.26 minus 25.056 gives me 0.204 and each one of these values is the result of doing the calculation in the brackets. If I square each one of these, I get 0.204 squared gives me 0.042. Notice that if you square a negative, it ends up being positive. So negative 0.146 squared gives me 0.021. So I have five values here corresponding to each of my five data points up here. If I then add all of those together, I get 0.361. So that's what's going to go up in the top part here. So I've just completed that. So what I need to do then is fill in the other two parts here. Now remember, n is our number of samples. And so if I fill in 5 for each of those, I get this. So here is my value for the top part here, 0.361. Down here I have n minus 1, n equals 5, so 5 minus 1. And down here I have just the square root of n, so I have the square root of 5. If I take 0 0.361 and divide it by 4, it gives me this value. The square root of 5 is 2.236. If I take the square root of 0 0.0903, I get 0 0.30. Divide that by the 2.236 here. And that gives me a standard error of 0 0.134. This is the operation that you're going to do for all three sets of data that you have.